I'm James Smith from Yard Act and uh, thanks for watching Music News. James Smith, Yard Act, great yeah, yeah. to see you. Just played here at um, South by Southwest. Yeah, How did you enjoy it? Yeah, I loved it. It was wicked. It's a great show. I've enjoyed it. Thank you. Looking forward to the next uh, few shows here? Yeah, what, what, like that we're playing or that other people are playing? No, 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 you're playing. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, I'm looking forward to playing more. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're having a good time. It's just nice to be out of the house. <laughs> yeah, being stuck in, well, I suppose everyone's been yeah, stuck in. Yeah, for a long time, yeah, yeah. Has, has, that, has that been giving you the, the time to grow musically? Um, it, it did, but I reckon we've grown, we, we have grown more as a band since we started being able to play live. I yeah, think yeah. I think you react to humans differently to you react to your own neuroses, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah um, you should always do whatever you do for yourself, but um, an audience reaction creates an interest in um, counterpoint to that that is important to take on board. Though, if you get completely bound by that, you'll lose sense of yourself. So it's a balancing act. Yeah, We've yeah. gone deep there. We've gone immediately very deep. That's how I yeah, feel. Yeah, I mean, yeah, as you said there, second, second most popular band in England. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm quite happy to claim that tag. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. So For you the moment, be, right now. Has right been now. a yeah, quick, quick rise to the top, as it were. And then, have you got a second album already planned or, or working on it? Uh, we started tinkering with ideas. We we're taking our time. Um, Similar I've, start, I've started writing lyrics. I mean, well, I, f I kind of feel like, I mean, I, f I feel like I've probably said as much as I can about uh, capitalism and, and its uh, pitfalls on album one. So album two won't be the same lyrically. Album two is probably going to look more at um, uh, uh, fatherhood and um, absent fathers and look oh, at yeah. that, yeah, and, and rising sea levels, yeah, yeah. So far from what I've detected within my own lyrics that I've written, <laughs> but there's no songs yet, no. Where, where do you, yeah, but how does the songwriting process work? Uh, we yard act, um, it's, uh, we write in, in What's a, you know, not groundbreaking, but quite a unique way. We tend to, Ryan will tend to write a sort of rhythm track with a bass, and then I'll write my lyrics to a rhythm track, and then Sam will write his guitar parts to my vocals. So Sam's kind of like the last link in the chain, and that kind of serves as a, uh, it makes it kind of like, Quite lyric heavy, but then you get the salt and pepper of the guitar. Like, I mean, yeah. Sam's a really creative writer. He works in a way that's not. Um, well, he's really sensitive to what I'm doing because what I do is so obnoxious. It's uh, it bulldozes through the whole process and makes it all about me. And we're aware of that. The second album will be less of that. The second album will be. The first album. We're going off it. You can edit this, right? You don't have to no, put no, it as is. Uh, it's all good. The first album was basically just me and Ryan writing, and yeah. so it was quite dense in terms of what I was throwing on it. But now we're a band. Now Jay and Sam are fully involved in the writing process. Um, I think album two will shine a lot more of a light on the music um, and, and the individual. Um, talents of Sam, Jay and Ryan than the first one did. The first one's very kind of heavily about me and what I'm saying, but then the second one would be more of a band record. When did you get your own inspiration for the first album? Um, well, I've always kind of like studied the what's going on around me and like been a sort of, like, I've, I like, like social commentary I guess is like a tag that gets attached to us that I'm fine with and, and makes sense but um, a lot of the first album a lot of the ideas came from it was a lot of it was written during the pandemic and I think because I couldn't socially observe people from 
my home. A lot of it came from the news, but a lot of it, a lot of it came from my childhood and kind of growing up and looking back on the people I knew growing up. And you know, that's like what tracks like. I mean, that's what Fixer Up is about. It's like you know, someone who was on the street that I grew up on, and then like my like sort of poppies is quite closely linked to my life growing up. Uh, in Lim, which is a village just outside of Warrington, northwest where I grew up. Um, yeah, I look, I looked, I look quite at my past quite a lot for album one, and and kind of tried to project those themes into the modern day, you know. And um, there's like there's lines on. I mean, like I mean, like like even in Payday, there's like lines that like uh, it sounds quite retro but it's because I'm like kind of looking at my past saying I'm like you know there's there's starving children in Africa it was like some of the like dinner ladies used to say to me if I didn't finish what was on my plate and uh, and obviously with Bosnia and the war in Bosnia like I remember that vividly and the shoebox appeals I remember um, that I was drawing on those feelings of um, helplessness even when I was like six years old, you know, like, um, yeah, we, again, we've gone quite deep. Yeah, but, but when, uh, when did you first all realise that, right, this is what I want to do, I want to put it in a, in a musical package? Quite early, but I never thought I would do it. Um, probably from about 10 or 11, I, I, I was quite committed to being uh, an artist of some form but I never thought that would be a job and um, was always told it wouldn't be yeah um, and just kind of cracked on with it on the side for many years you know yeah. I'm like 30, I'm like 32 this year so it's not a uh, but I'm I mean, a spring it's, chicken. Since the release, it's been, you know, it's surprised of like the, you know, sort of strong uptake and the... Yeah, people have got into it and it, like, the main thing is that, like, it's nice to be listened to because every, everyone wants to be heard. Like, yeah. everyone who says they don't is lying. <laughs> and they are, like, yeah, they're, yeah, like, yeah, they're yeah, not. Yeah, I don't yeah. mean everyone wants to be on a stage with tons of adoring fans, but everybody wants their opinion to be heard and it just so happens that the, the form that this that we've ended up in is that like and now because your opinion is being heard does that put any more pressure on you well it's just an opinion i mean people i mean what what happens when people take a, an interest in something is they, they then think your opinion is fully formed and anything that deviates from that is less um but opinions change and uh I have no interest in being fully formed and repeating myself. Um, so right now, what we've what we've uh, done and what people have resonated with, I have no I have no ambition to reinforce that. But whether we will or not remains to be seen, because yeah. it, it ultimately your success does depend on a, on an audience and their reception to it. So yeah, yeah. Well, they yeah. probably maybe dissect the second album a lot more and look look for sort of deeper meanings. And... Well, the, I mean, like the pre like we, we can feel the fucking pressure already. Like um, you have to do a lot to not get bogged down in it. Like you have you have to know. You have to believe in what you do, basically. Yeah. You and as long it? as you believe, yeah, of course I enjoy yeah. it. Yeah, I enjoy. I, I enjoy writing music and recording music massively. Touring is like up and down. Like, um, if we didn't have to tour to make a living, I'd do like five albums a year and be much happier. <laughs> but we have to. That's the way yeah, the world yeah. works, and that's fine. Like, it's. Uh, that's nice, but I'm more interested in writing and recording than touring. But then there's also, yeah, there is that exciting part of the live performance when you capture some of this really exciting, and I, and I chase that. But it does become hard when you're doing it every night. Yeah, it becomes yeah. hard when every night is um, trying to recreate the last best moment you had. Like, that is really hard. Because um, yeah. I refuse to phone it in. And, uh, 
And it, yeah, it's a struggle. <laughs> oh, no. But I haven't so far. Every show has been amazing. And from the heart. Excellent. Well, one day it won't be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, listen, thanks a lot for your time. It's been a pleasure. You're Someone welcome. that hasn't sort of checked out Yard Act yet, what three songs would you say? Check, those, check these out. They sort By Yard Act? Yeah. Um, Fixer Upper, Tall Poppies, and 100% Endurance. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot for your time. You're welcome, man. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, good.